is official. State lawmakers ended their special session today, opening the door for the Hawaii Super Ferry to resume operations while the state completes an environmental report. The House voted 39 to 11, and the Senate voted 20 to 5 yesterday in favor of the ferry. KITV's Denby Fawcett has more. With support certain for the Super Ferry, opponents made a last-ditch appeal. I think it's really appropriate that we're voting on this measure on Halloween. Senate Bill 1, Senate Draft 1, dressed in the facade of, a, of toothless conditions is one ugly bill that wreaks the horrors of political favors gone awry. The governor walked in to watch the debate, super ferry officials taking notes. Representative Mark Takai on the floor in Halloween garb. Worried about islands divided by the super ferry, lawmaker after lawmaker appealed for healing and safety. Some of the issues are unresolved around the ferry. Please be safe uh, as it begins, if and when it begins its service. Uh, there's been enough, um, enough hurt, and I don't want to see anyone killed uh, or injured, uh, especially during the first few weeks. We need to malama ka'uhani, our spirit, and bring our communities together. After the final vote, Super Ferry CEO John Garibaldi emerged a happy man. Hi there. How are you? We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we're hopeful to be started up uh, within, uh, by mid-November. Mid Garibaldi acknowledged the company is concerned about hostile feelings and says it plans to reach out to neighbor islanders. A key step now for the Super Ferry is to get the Maui court to lift its injunction. And opponents of the Super Ferry say if that happens, they're certain to go back to court to appeal. Reporting from the state capitol, Denby Fawcett, KITV4 Island Television News.